Vegas back with another episode of Assemble the Troops. And of course, it's everyone's favourite G.I. Joe page where we dive in deep and get some troops back together. And there we go. Okay, cool. We're going to take a trip back in the past to 1989 to go and see what goes bump in the night. And what does go bump in the night is, of course, Night Vipers. Cobra's... Oh dear. Cobra's nighttime troops that lurk around in the dark and um, generally kick a whole lot of butt. So, we have two Night Vipers here. Um, one I actually purchased, I think, about 18 months ago off eBay because... I just wanted to get another one because I think this figure is absolutely outstanding and awesome. So I did just that. Um, I think I got him for about 10 Aussie dollars, which was an absolute steal. So thank you for that. He does have a broken piece on him. Um, we'll talk about that as we go through the review. And um, yeah, just generally cover all the great stuff about this figure. Um, but this one is the original OG Night Viper I bought back in the day, and of course, he's got a bit of wibbly legs. We don't like that on this show, so we're going to replace the O ring and, of course, the screw that holds the figure together and have a yak about the figure while we do just that entirely. Um, yeah. The Cobra figures might have been getting a bit crazy and a bit weird. But, you know, they still managed to come up with some rippers towards the end of the 80s. Like Heat Viper, Frag Viper, the Alley Vipers. Um, we've I think we've covered them in a previous video. I've got to do Heat Viper version 2, but I'm not really looking forward to that because that figure's very, a bit bright. But you can see, yeah, there it is. Rubbish rubber. Well, I'm sure it was good back 30 years ago, but now it's not. But that's a story for another day. So you know what we do. We grab the old waist or the leggy bit. Oh, that rubber's crap already. So, all right, let's try that again. Well, you sort of get what you pay for when you buy these O-rings off eBay. Some are good. I have had to actually um, replace some of them here and there again after replacing them. Having said that, here's a win. Night Viper. No waste injury there. So that's great. So no unfortunate damage to his nether regions. But let's just, you know, as we do, just feed that through the old O-ring, through the waist piece, as always. We get the back bit. The back bit, of course, has the peg that the screw will go through in time. It has those two little guide posts, which link up to the two little guide holes. And everything on the front of the torso body part. Let's give him some arms, which I always do next, like that. So he's got himself a right arm. Let's see if we can't get him a left arm as well, which we've done with Gusto. So that's good news. We get his head and like I said, you just sort of twist him in there and pop it. As it were, we've got to get a brand new screw for the back piece because I just figure we've gone to this much effort. Let's not put in, you know, something that's like rusty or whatever again. So there we go. He's all screwed up and ready to rock and roll. And um, what... An incredible figure this is. 1989 Night Viper. This is 
just top shelf stuff like one of the best of the best um i love this figure it's a real classic and like i said i i enjoy it so much i just grabbed another one when i found it cheap off ebay and was like yeah man bring it on um now he came with this rifle that's got this cool strap on it so you know we can just go hey i'm walking around with my rifle all strapped up on my back so he's pretty cool like that and just to take it to another level completely he can just pop it on his leg now with my original one the pegs broke off um so that's a bit disappointing but of course hence on this new one you can see he just pegs his rifle onto his leg he's like yeah cool i'm just gonna walk around with my rifle on my leg or i can have it strapped over my shoulder or i can have two rifles so he's a pretty flexible dude and plus he mainly operates at night so no one's gonna know now on again you've got to be careful with these guys because there's like those little posts on his leg that i mentioned and of course further to that um he's got posts on his head because he's got his night vision visor um now you can see that just sort of pegs onto the pegs onto his head and you know if he's at night he can just go hey um seeing stuff in night time vision um and he can always, you know, put it up or down. He came with this little scope. And this is probably, you know, if you could do a list of like the top 10 most lost um, G.I. Joe and Cobra accessories. Like this has got to just be right up there. But um, the idea of that is that you just pop that on to said visor um and he gets extra night vision i guess but yeah just be real careful with that if you are gonna lose one thing it's that um yeah that's just just how it is with these guys he came with this cool backpack um it looks like it's got some radio equipment and stuff on it great fantastic and I'm guessing some night vision sort of gear. But yeah, don't these guys look great? Like, what a, an amazing figure. And, um, you know, this was one for the ages. Like, seriously, a really cool figure. Um, I think these guys actually caught snake eyes once. And, yeah, did a whole lot of other cool stuff. Just generally, because look at them, they're great. And um, they're, they're probably like a bit annoyed at me shining the filming light on them with their night vision goggles as that would amplify that somewhat. But um, sorry fellas, it's part of the show. But there you go. What great figures. And, you know, I'd buy a hundred more of these if I could. I think they're amazing. And um, yeah, if you can find one for the right price and everything yeah grab them they're great um you know that dark green the black great color combo great accessories great backpack cool visors you know like helmet stuff that's you know actually serving a purpose as well um you know this is like a, a superstar figure I, I really like these guys and um as i said you know if i could get more i would and, um, yeah, Cobra Night Viper, 1989, what a time to be alive. Um, get your Cobra on, everyone, and thank you for watching as always. Stay safe, um, like and subscribe. Let me know, do you like these guys or, or not? Leave a comment, and we'll go from there. But in the interim, stay safe, everyone. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.